getting better at it, Robert. Look at that. Awesome. That, awesome. Went, that went nice. No, nice. we're like seasoned professionals now. Okay. Okay. So with me is Robert Deutsch. And what would you like to talk about? There's so many different areas. Oh, and I'll, just chat. I'll just let it roll. Okay. It comes up first. <laughs> Chemtrails. Boy, don't yeah. chem bombs suck. Doesn't this geoengineering have to end? How many years more am I going to have to wear this shirt? Conditions I've seen actually off of your coast has been horrendous, matching up the imagery on the ground. This last week in, in the Carolinas is some of the worst spraying I've ever seen. And of course, I go on and I get upset. And I watch them making these storms and moving the, the moisture around in, in the cold air, and I'm watching people dying on the streets of Chicago, freezing to death. These homeless veterans that we should be taking care of are right. being treated with such disdain, and there's people looking out of windows at it happen and not inviting them into their houses. You know, just The heinousness in this world and coldness toward each other's got to end, and our oppressors need to stop spraying us like bugs. They just do. Oh. Yeah. So what's the last conference, or wh when was the last talk that you gave? Uh, it's been a while since I gave an actual sit-down talk. I'm doing most of my stuff with videos now and okay. podcasts. I did one with Gerard Hay over somewhere in the United States um, last night. I yeah, didn't finish about that. 10 at night. Hell, it was wonderful talking with him. It's a brilliant mind. It really is. That was about an hour and a half. I did another one in the morning because I do a lot of live video chats now. It doesn't violate um, visas for work permits and and stuff like that. Because I travel all around the world, I have to be very conscious of uh, the laws of the country I'm in. Cool. Even here now, I'm in Turkey right now. Beautiful country, wonderful people. I travel freely, I can, I can come home anytime I want it. And I see yeah. these trains uh, full of, you know, tanks, and I see a wall being built, and I see FEMA camps, and I go, what could possibly go wrong with that? And I really, I fear going home because of my own government. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, so it is a fair thing. You know, okay. and I see how they lock down activists. They locked that guy on the West Coast by throwing some powder on one of his signs and trying to say Powerful. he was chemically attacking, you know, attacking yeah. people. And mm -hmm. It's just, it's just so wrong. So yeah, I can come anytime I want. It's just really a matter of money. I'll come to the conference anytime and die in it. Let everybody okay. prove to Kim and let me show you the guilt from today. Just here is backing up what everybody just said. Look what's going on. This proposed experiment has been an indecent proposal going on for a very long time. And we've well documented it. And now it's being sold as needed. And well, it's not needed. It needs to stop on it. Right. Oh, this 5G. <gasps> oh my. Little millimeter beams, folks. Bzz free radical creations in our body. The, the mutagenics isn't studied. It rolled out in um, Beijing and um, immediately noticed increase in coughing up blood. A block list over 3,000 long. Yeah, novice. Yeah, I have a book. My, my block list reads like a novel. So. And I'm gonna keep it that way. And but oh, you're deliberately targeted. Like I said, it in that other one, they took the time to go all the way to Vancouver to bust your balls. You mm -hmm. validate your research to me. Well, now I forgot what okay. I was going to say. Okay. I'm validated, I guess. Okay, so I just want to. Um, oh yeah, about the trolls and the freaking trust and whatnot. Oh yeah, and I, I uh, unfriended about 200 people last night. Just wow. I got real paranoid, and that's the thing. When somebody, you know, when you have these uh, connections within the chemtrail community, and then you find out one of them's a mole or whatever, it does mess you up because you are already suspicious person, mm -hmm. and now you have this on top of. Was well, that person even really my friend? And that's the damage that it does. You know, not the trolling. I'm used to that. I'm used to the insults and the, all the games and all that crap. But when it comes from within, that's when it's really dirty. Like you were talking about controlled opposition. So. Yeah, we can't let them in our heads. We can't let them rule our day. We can't have them like making us look over our shoulder. In, in, in this way, day and age, when they want to take us out, they're just going to do it, and they're not going to want to get caught. So they ain't going to warn you about it. So really, all they're trying to do is get in your head and distract you from your work. And sometimes people send me stuff with screenshots, and I tell people, I got this person blocked. Why are you sending me anything? They're gone from my world. They're gone from my mind. 
No energy. No bad, no good. What's your plan of action for the chemtrails? What is, would you say would be well, the direction? Well, number one, we got to get people talking about this. Whether they agree or disagree, we've got to get a conversations going. Another attack I, I'm having is, is, I don't even call it an attack, it's a fairness. I, every country in this world has got to say no to the Paris Accords. The United States already setting up. Now the rest of the world, well, actually I actually need three big countries to do this, to say no. We do, will not do this. Australia is on the verge because they're pushing up. This is going to cost us too much money, angle, you know, tax dollars. And if that's what angle I have to take and hit these emotions, I will do that. I, my object is to, we hold the flag that says stop all together. You know, everybody ain't going to agree about everything. But we all agree this has got to stop. So that I will build upon. You've got the pharma dollar for pets. Mm -hmm. I call it a pharma dollar because they're propping up economies. Of IMF loans based on it. Like they just did in Argentina. We're mandating everybody in the country has to be vaccinated now. Vaccinated for what? Whatever they say. <laughs> they're pushing the DTAP. Anything they say you've got to have, you've got to have it in Argentina now. You will not get a passport. You won't get a driver's license. You won't go to university. If you go to a university, they can vaccinate you without your choice. It even says it in the law. And I did a, a short video on that a couple days ago. Yeah. So they're coming for us, folks. This is not about just children. Get off the fence now. Put your boots on the ground. Even in the... Um, Kitchen cooks in the rest homes have to have basic vaccinations now. But I'm going to have to tell you this one. They're removing the thimerosal from most of the vaccines, and it's all aluminum adjuvants and stuff like that now. So I would just tell people I'm allergic to toxins. I will not put poison in my body. And, but they're making it so the doctors get punished, they're taking it away from the doctors or taking their licenses or, as soon as they do it. Look what they did to Andy Wakefield. Look what they did to Russell Blaylock. Yeah. And look oh, he look how Suzanne Humphreys is getting absolutely ripped by people for taking her oath not to do harm seriously. Mm. You know, a doctor does research, is supposed to know scientific method, has a doctorate, shouldn't, when they see something's wrong, shouldn't they be allowed to tell us and prove it? And right. they just get trashed by this industry, this pharma dollar proper uppers. And it's almost just like, you know, I, I said it on another show. When you go to the hospital, do you see a curing ward or do you see a treatment ward? And treatment never ends. So you have a bunch of videos on YouTube. Do you have the contrail tag on all your videos as well and all those other disinformation? Um, I, I haven't really noticed because I just pop stuff there and leave it alone. It, when I do search chemtrails, I do see that pop-up box you were referring to. Yeah. Giving me the con about the trails. But they're not on your videos? Nah, I haven't noticed it. But I, I only pop stuff there sometimes because YouTube can pull our videos at any time. So why waste time? I get the word out. I'll do a video every day. There's always going to be something out there. And, and I've got a lot of data. You can believe that. Terabytes worth. But that's I've really saved my work for a long time. Your videos would be the only ones on the entire internet that did not get the contrary tag. Even songs that I sing that don't have chemtrails in the title or anything. Just haven't oh. noticed it. But then again, like I said, I don't really often Google my own videos. I put them out there and I roll with it and just let it sit. Mm -hmm. I just keep doing it. I walk my truth. And most of my convincing goes on offline. I got to say, there's three or four people a day I will talk with. And half of them, I got them. And you'll see these wherever I travel, suddenly you'll see people from the countries coming onto my wall. Because mm -hmm. that's because I'm doing it. I don't rely on using the tools of our oppressors to continually let me document. They'll just, they just cut us off. They kill our Facebook accounts. They jail us for show a memory of a meme from a year ago, you know, applying today's rules to that, uh, up to the past. And I had a recent one, you know, just a meme. Oh, well, here's a memory. And then I'm like, you know, <laughs> those shadow bands where they won't share our, our work with people. So see less comments, less shares, and this and that. But I don't let it affect me. I just do another one.
Okay. Oh, I just keep cracking. I, I, I wouldn't let it affect me either if I didn't even notice that there were any on any of my videos, like you're saying. Every, oh, you said every, that about it. I was shocked. They're, they're on every single one of my videos. At the end of the day, they want your guns, folks, and they're going to keep yeah. pulling your heartstrings into you hedgely dialect. Ask them, please make me safe. <laughs> okay, Robert, do you think that they're going to try to edit this video? That's yeah, possible. I'm fighting chemtrails the most. False flags are happening. Look how they won the Hunger Games. Even the opposing side of District 13 stole one of the, one, the president's police things and bombed the crowd. And even at the end, he says, that was well played. You know, you see Donna Sutherland tells us, we may have to false flag back. They tell us how to defeat them, but then they also show their method. So I, where does it end? I'll just try to walk my truth and stay out of the, the triggered psyops. You know, it's, I love talking about rascally things. I'm That's trying. I, I doubt everything I was taught in school to the point of taking a compass with me when I flew around the known map to verify the locations of the countries and the continents. And everything oh, yeah, was yeah. where it was supposed yeah. to be. Yeah, because I, I look into everything. I still ain't made my mind up. But I made my mind up that after we fix the dire shape this planet is, boy, are we going to sit around and have some fun around the campfire, all talking about the things that really do matter. It's the lie, right? Mm -hmm. The lies. But we know they're lies. We bust them all the time. So to me, it's almost a nil point. You know, it's a waste of my time when we got to 2020 to defeat these Paris Accords. And that's if I'm sitting here debating a nil point to me, it's, I, I'll lose this fight. And I can't. Yeah, I definitely don't think it's cool for us to just give up our rights to speak about false flags that are going on and, and just keep going on with our way because a lot of people didn't notice mm. that that even happened. When you Google Sandy Hook now, everything's gone. Even the movie We Need to Talk About Sandy Hook, that's even gone. You, you can find it, but it's not on YouTube and it's not on anything and then doing all this stuff to just hide everything. It's really scary because we're turning into a communist, like communist China or something. Oh, the Patriot Act gave them the right to lie in Congress even. Congress people can don't if it's in the national interest. The national interest to them is the is the pharma dollar, is the how much their corporations, excuse me, their corporations are making. <laughs> That's their national interest. And it's not my national interest that they care about. Only they want is our tax dollars to pay for these bombs propping up that at that side of the coin, for the vaccine propping that side up. And you know what? When you put too many sides together, all I see is the pyramid mm -hmm. and the eye watching us all. And I don't accept it. And yeah, they lie. Yeah, they false flag it. The list is so endless. You know, the Twin Towers is the most obvious live mob. The controlled demolition. And look what that cost us. How many generations of children in other countries have died from this? Not just the United States. They took out firemen and stuff. This is not cool. Not cool. They right. pulled our heartstrings, our most basic heartstrings. Yeah, for heroes, think... true heroes that do beautiful things. And they killed them. Yeah? In the name of wanting control, wanting a war. Kuwait's oil was owned by the Bush family. What did we attack? Who, who got their interest secured that day? Was it a national interest or was it a private interest? I say a private interest. You know, but yes, Sandy Hook was false. How far back do you want to go? How many of these Joker-looking kids with the with the MK Ultra eyes are we going to see? How many? Uh, how about that Lanza Cruz kid? I went there. It's him, and now he's up there propping the flag, lying that he he peddled his. He was in the classroom at first, and then no, he pedaled his bike over. His his lie on rap, and the name Cruz itself. You know, who's walking down the stairs with George Bush Senior there? The day Kennedy got shot with Harvey Oswald. It's Cruz, Cruz's father, and he's probably this guy's grandfather. Same family, same lies, same oppressors. In that, I know something that I could bring up that we disagree on. Don't get mad at me. What do no, you well, think about? What do you think about the moon landing footage? I mean, excuse me, the moon landing technology all being destroyed. Again, NASA, NASA had to have the bucks for their Buck Rogers secret space programs. 
kind of what I think. And I think that what we were shown on television as a kid is no validation that it happened as it happened. We were shown smoke and mirrors. My big question is what really went on up there? Yeah. Uh, what really happened? Now, I, I see these mock ups with broomstick handles and stuff and know that they did use mock ups to train it. However, you know, when Kubrick's lights fall, he was filming what they were going to show us on television. <laughs> That's what I think. I think it's a big bunch of rubbish. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if we disagree or agree on that, but I, yeah, <laughs> why does that stink, huh? <laughs> I, know, I know some other stuff we don't agree on, but you know, you know, I don't believe in anything anymore. They've killed it for me. There's like yeah, I, I question it. Yeah, I question everything, and it's really. Annoying. I think very wascoey. I really do, but I like proof. You know, the only way I'm going to ever prove that. They went on the moon is if I have a big enough telescope and I want to see the footprints from here myself, the my own eyes. <laughs> I've got a good point. So my friend who's a total non-truther, okay, this is just some random mm -hmm. dude that I know. He goes, hey, the moon has a bunch of craters in it. Have you ever noticed that? Why doesn't Earth have a bunch of craters? Did the moon just hit into a bunch of stuff and it bypassed everything else? And I was like, that's a really good freaking point. Like, I mean, I really- well, We do have a lot of craters. And we have a lot of erosion over time from weather. No, I actually can see them from the plains. You can see right, the right. plain is down. I believe in erosion, but we don't look like the moon. The moon looks like Swiss cheese, you know, all over. We don't look like that. So what happened to the moon?